Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here in Passage of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Today, we're going to be playing Dungeon Rushes. It is an RPG-esque roguelike dungeon crawler from Goblin Studio. And I'm looking forward to actually giving this a try. I like the artwork and the styling of it from uh, looking at the promo images that were available. Whenever I requested a copy of the code, they were very generous and provided me with code to try this game out. So let's see what is going on in Dungeon Rushers. It's a folky tale and song. Long ago in a time long on. Right, so we obviously have stuff to unlock by playing through later, but oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is whenever I actually like see menu screens that look like they're being made for mobile. I suppose it make it happens with Unity games quite a lot. Unity assets, uh, basic main screens. You can see where that came from. Right, so we're going to start the campaign and give this a try from the very top. Elian had had enough of the daily grind, all work and no play. He was done with it. So one morning he decided a decision. He would join the noble community of Dungeon Looter. Our story begins at the edge of his village, in front of a supposedly haunted ancient temple. Well, I can't back out now. I'm telling you, you're not cut out to be an adventurer. You do fine work as a toilet cleaner, and you're throwing it all away. Enough of that. I want the high life. Glory. Golden girls. Oh, really? So what are you waiting for? Aren't you going? Uh, I'm, I'm refining my strategy. Your strategy? Scrawny coward like you. Go on, get back to the tavern. What? N no one, I mean, no one gets to call me a coward. I'm off. Hmm. Shame. You're a good boy at heart. Right, well, let's see. The character token in the center represents your team. Okay. Character abilities is available in the dungeon. Please legend, enter the screen. Bonus challenges in the dungeon. Right, so it really, oh, 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 this is how it's played. Oh, okay. A human! And our dusty galleries, get out! You're clear away all of our lovely dust with your horrible clean fingers! <coughs> I should have hydrated before I started playing this. Hmm. A skeleton. If only I could sne somehow sneak by and avoid a fight. Avoid me! You can hear you coming from miles away! You need the right ability if you want to avoid a fight. You'd better flee, kid! It's dangerous here! Flee? Never. Prepare to fight, unholy creature. Oh my bone, he's charging at me! Okay, so no special abilities for fighting him. Let's get into combat! Flash, flash, flash. Um... Yeah, this definitely feels like it's a bit of mobile game optimized and then we're throwing a console, so... Uh, I can't get upset about that. I mean, it just kind of immediately gives me a level of limitation and a non... Not ingenuity or an... Uh, I'm trying to think of the right word for it. Like, the G UI doesn't design itself towards using a gamepad because of it actually literally big enough buttons to press your finger on. And then that means uh, screen space is heavily, heavily truncated for that purpose. Slash. You're holding the bow, but you backslashed him. Okay, whatever. Victory! I found an iron sword. I no longer have to backfist people. There we go. Equip in the sword. I only <laughs> got rid of the brush. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Bit of an improvement. An event! Oh. Another skeleton! They definitely all look the same. On guard! A kid pretending to be adventure again? Not a place to play here. Let me quietly haunt this place. Save your breath. I mean, you're... But how can you talk, by the way? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Die! Uh, again! Seriously, does rest and peace ring a bell to you? Ha ha ha. Flash with a sword. Does exactly the same damage. 
the heck? I'm hitting him with a sword and it's doing the exact same damage as it was with a Scars brush? What is the point of the sword? <laughs> Skeleton again, but this one seems different somehow. It must be the boss of this place. Manager, actually, so I, it was you who's been causing all the fuss around here. Do you know how much trouble you've caused me? I'm going to have to submit a report to the management and kill you, of course. You think you can scare me, you decrepit pile of bones? Well then, I'll teach you to have some respect for the dead. Um, nope. No ability available. I'm gonna get my ass beat because I'm only got half health. Ha 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 ha! You can't reach me. Huh. I think I should use my bow. Ow! Don't feel well. I better take a potion. Ow! Boom! I win. Okay, so... Yay! Loot and leave. The whole point is to find all these things. Gather, get, gather together a crowd of people. Go from place to place. Unlock each location. Um, dungeon crawling wise, I yeah, yeah. What, what heroic mode? Huh. Well, either way, I basically got the premise down. Uh, let's go in and try another dungeon where I'm probably going to get my ass beat because I'm going to rush straight into it. After this first success, Alea, our young adventurer, left to explore another abandoned dungeon on a quest for riches and glory. There is not really much plot involved in this story. But I, what is this place? This can't be right. It must have some mistake. Hey, mister, what's a tavern doing in a supposedly abandoned dungeon? Isn't it obvious? We're here to serve drinks. You should give them a try, kid. I don't like tourists who come in and don't buy anything. To be honest, I was planning on investigating this dungeon to fill my pocket. No one told me I had already been, it already been explored. Well, it hasn't been. The first ventures that discovered this place brought... Thought that it might be a more profitable to set up a tavern here instead of searching for what little treasure might be found. So you're telling me that there might still be some treasure somewhere inside this place? I'm gonna look for it. Maybe I'll be able to retire sooner than you the plan. You're optimistic. Lots of nearly minted adventurers have gone before you and were never seen again. That's why this place is never going to be cleaned out. This dungeon. Think of it as natural selection. Those in those in the know understand that there's nothing here but good beer. The others die in the galleries for a few measly coins. In short, you've got no chance on your own. Then come with me. You seem like a seasoned adventurer. Don't you want to find out what else might be hidden in this place? I'm not an adventurer. I'm Thorgrim, the best accountant in the country. Malian, nice to meet you. So you're an accountant? Carrying a warhammer and wearing armor? Dangerous profession, don't you know? I need an accountant. I promise I'll pay you if you come with me. You can just come and take a look. Look? I suppose they don't really have a choice, then. Don't worry. We'll be rich by the time we get out of here. Hey, don't forget to pay me before you leave. Run, kid! Let's fight together! There we go, we've got two people now, and we can bite a little bit faster. It's a manager! Run! Oh, we're leveling up! Trap. They're everywhere, but I guess a crafted kid like you can, can find them and deactivate them, right? 
Wouldn't it just be easier to avoid them? <laughs> of course not. There's a, if there's a trap in a way, you either deactivate it or set it off. That's how it goes. Ah, god damn it. The strike of Thor. Boom. Boom! Dead, dead, dead guy. So yeah, the dungeons just have this kind of mentality, just keep searching for things. Oh, this doesn't look like a treasure room, and those barrels over there look pretty recent. Who cares? Look, I found the chest, but there's almost nothing inside it. I just wonder if... A few coins and bits of paper. Hey, look, there's one here with your name on it. Just as I fear, it's... Oh, damn it! We're in the tavern storeroom, and that's my tab you've got there. Really, but how is this... Is that true? Do you really owe 2,000 gold pieces? Quick, gather everything up and make a quick exit before anyone sees us. Try to look in this. Yeah, I wanted to pick a fight. Hey! Welcome, stranger. Uh, oh? What are you doing? I'm just a selfless benefactor. <laughs> I help any adventurers I meet on my travels. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. He gives you a potion. Uh, well, uh, thanks. What do I owe you for it? Hey, listen, I'm just making my contribution. <laughs> Please continue with your adventure. That guy was strange. True, but it's not important. We've got another potion. We must find our way out. Yay! Eh, we've got resources to actually spend, I'm sure. So, as you can tell, the uh, the challenge continues on. You build your way from one place to another. There is a whole wide world to explore. Each one of those is going to give dungeons. So, yeah. Um, the crypt half haunted, the dungeon's hidden tavern. Tavern's darkest cellar. <laughs> so it does feel like the, it's a bit tongue-in-cheek, the context that they actually have for this game. Um, I want to go back to the main menu. Where's the main menu? There is no main menu. All right. That's fine with me. We'll just stand it here on the map screen. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This has actually been Dungeon Rushers. The first couple of minutes, the first couple of dungeons, the first beginning experience of the game. If you like the concept, if you like the idea, you like the actual simplicity of it, this game is probably available on your mobile, so you can actually check it out on your tablet or mobile phone. And is also available here on PS4, which I have been playing it on at the moment. Now, obviously, it's a Wii Unity game that's actually got a simplicity to it and a bit of charm. I actually want to check out a little bit more of this in future. If you would like to see more of it here on the channel, then feel free to say so in the comments. It's the only way I will know to continue on, because otherwise I have to move on and begin another game. 
But thank you very much for watching, folks. If you actually haven't been watching this on YouTube, there will be a couple of boxes appearing on your screen. One will be actually the most recent video on the channel. Another will be the most recent video playlist that actually this is related to. And the last one will be something just for you, based on the taste and interest that you have on YouTube. I do not know why I'm bringing out the main voice. Yes. What I need you to do is click on the like and subscribe. The moment you do, it will be your freedom for you. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next episode. Bye.